Okay, in this presentation, I'm going to follow up on my uh, last presentation. In the last presentation, I demonstrated F read, uh, and the point was actually just to sort of get across that I was able to import a very, very, very large uh, data set into R, and it's called Chai Crimes. This data set, and it is based on the Chicago uh, Open Data Portal. Okay, so City uh, Chicago Data Portal. It's under cityofchicago.org. You should be able to find it there if you search around. And what you do is just here and go download and get, uh, click your CSV. So I shortened the name just to make it a little bit easier to find or easier to read. Now, it's six million, six, nearly 6.5 million rows, okay, 22 columns, 1.414 uh, gigabytes. And in this particular instance, I was managed to upload it in eight minutes. Now that doesn't, that seems like a lot, but remember it's a very, very big file, okay? <laughs> and uh, the, a lot of machines might not even, it'll, they'll just sort of crash it immediately, okay? The fact that we're actually able to do this, it uh, means a lot, okay? Now I want to, might want to take a look at the, uh, what I have here. So first off, I'm going to do some sort of very basic, um, operations here like it's for example the number of rows 6 million number of columns uh, sorry the dimensions 22 and so on now what I could do but I'm not going to do in this instance and I accidentally did it in the last one is to do the summary okay now it just takes a long time and it's that and when you're working with very large data sets using the summary command is not the best way to go about doing things although it's not the worst either you get the information you want so what we're going to do now is we will actually, let's just actually look at a sense of what we're doing here because I'm going to do a demonstrate that I can do some very basic operations. Well, actually not basic, very fundamental operations very quickly. So just let's get a sense of what the data set is about. Okay. So let's just print out the first tree there. So we have an ID, a case number, a date, block, IUCR, all these sort of things. Something I'm particularly interested in is this one down here. I'm going to use this one here, the FBI code, okay? Uh, just actually as a sort of grouping structure. Uh, I'm not quite sure what FBI code means, but let's just say for argument's sake, it's some sort of district or something like that. I don't know. There's a district over here, actually. I might use that one instead. So um, something to actually just to sort of uh, point out is the way that... The, we've seen some um, variables there, and they are name variables, okay? So just actually to sort of point out, minor matter, okay? But everything that's sort of, all, the, all these uh, string variables got uh, uploaded as characters, and not as factors, okay? That's a sort of important matter, okay? So... Well, it's the sort of, if you look up the strings as factor thing, okay, which is off topic for this video, but that's what I was getting at there. Right, so what I'm going to do here is I am going to show off a little bit, okay. I have just sort of my little notepad there at the side of the screen. I'll tell you what, I'll just use it. So I was going to, magician revealing his tricks, okay. So... I just have it everything ready. So there we go. So um, what I might do is, do is use district or use code. Okay. So what I want to do actually is just actually see what happens when I get the uh, how many unique instances for each variable. Okay. So how that's a little command you can use there. Oops shy crimes shaming me for copy and pasting there we go that should work now does it work well it'll take a second to work because it's a big file of course and it will just give us a sense of it's more a, a sort of actually a sort of uh, exploratory data analysis by proxy and so give us an insight this sort of a how, how many instances uh, unique instances of each variable occurs partly such that we can get a sort of sense of what are the categorical variables and what are essentially just description variables there we go so uh that makes sense that there's that many 
ID cases, well, each unique ID. There's primary type, domestic, which is probably a binary variable, community area, ward, all these, arrest, which is also probably a binary variable, yes or no, true or false. You can recode those as logical variables if you want, but actually just leave them as is. Okay, so yeah, FBI code, there's 26 FBI codes. How many district codes are there's 27? So it, maybe they're, they're sort of the same thing. I'm not, an, I'm not an expert in law enforcement in USA. So what I'm going to do now, clear that. I'm using um, base R, partly because it's just easier to read from a screen. Okay, that's the only reason I use it because it can make the, the font very large, okay? So essentially what I've done here, uh, actually the, the point of what I'm getting at here is I'm doing a sort of count, okay? Uh, the number of instances per district, okay? So we have 27 districts and they're not in order there. We can sort of order them later on. But what we can do there is actually, I just read, I'll actually just run that again, okay? Uh, bang. That was very, very quick. That's actually the, the key point I wanted to get across. Remember, this is uh, 6 million rows, which is 6.5 million rows almost. That was very quick. So what we could do here is actually just sort of see how quick that was, okay? So I have it in order of instances here, okay? Now, sorry, just hit the, hit the, there we go. That took, like that took almost nothing. You would blink and you'd miss it, okay? So it took 0.02, no, well, the elapsed time was like almost less than, like a third of a second almost. Actually, just run it again, just to sort of see if I am lying, okay? Now, just so you have to be bear with me a little bit in the sense that the recording software is quite heavy on the system as well, so that can slow a little bit uh, things down a bit, okay? So in this, uh, we're just going to finish off here. I'm going to randomly sample 5,000 rows and then find the mean number of calls to the police categorized by FBI code. So I have it just sort of in the buffer there. So that should be it. No, let's just do it here again. So ch uh, chai crimes sample one to dot n, which is, I'm not going to actually explain too much about the syntax here, but essentially it's just actually 1 to n, obviously a capital N being the population size, okay? Mean calls is just some generating some sort of summary variable, and by is some grouping variable. There we have it there. Um, now, so, yeah, that was actually quite quick. Uh, there's 25 districts or FBI codes and the mean number of calls and so on. Now, the point actually there was... And what I'm going to do here is uh, going to show you how did the system time thing just to actually sort of emphasize that this oops that's not how you spell system time let's just check that little typo there and just to emphasize this is a fairly usual type of operation for a very large data set and that I was able to sort of do it there very very quickly so anyway that is the end of this video.